Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and to a new video. Today I'm here at Alton Towers. Now, we're gonna start off, we stayed over last night in the main hotel, in just the cheapest room we could get. So here's a little room tour of that. Hello, welcome to the Alton Towers main hotel. I'm gonna give you a little room tour. Okay, this is the entrance. We come in, there's no light. It is quite dark here. Um, but you've got your bed, your ironing board. Your bed? You Oh my god, it's been a long journey. You've got your, like, the kids' bed, right? The cot. The cot. The bed, it's a bed. You've got the cot, the hangers, um, the ironing board, all that. Mine and Karis' favourite bit, the tea-making station. Um, drawers. What's going on? And that's cool. So little details. Oh, we got a, a fridge. fridge. Didn't have this in the splash. Didn't have oh. plugs near the bed Ooh. or a fridge in the splash. Stepping so up our game. So this is up splash at splash already little chair nice mirror to check ourselves in the morning make sure our outfits are a-okay we've got a double bed look at this theming already i'm not being funny this theming is already amazing like let me turn that brightness down look at that that's sick and the, the drawers by the bed are like little safes how sick is that you've got your tv the theming by the telly this is awesome I'm actually kind of blown away by this room, actually, to be fair, already. Do you know what it's giving? It's giving Lisey Burke Hotel vibes. That's what it's giving right now. You've got a desk. Like the light in Beauty and the Beast. Le is it Le Mere? Le Mere? Le Mere? Maybe, I don't know. It's just good theming. Little table, chair, velvet curtains, and then the bunk beds, I believe, pull up. Oh, no, they're out. That has to pull out. Yes, pull out, bed. Mirrors. Pull out. So that is our room. That's my bag. My Nintendo Switch is in there. <laughs> Can we play that later? The, this is definitely bigger than the splash already. Like the room. Oh, it's huge in it's comparison. Huge. Let's go have a look at the bathroom. Come on, come on. It's big bathroom. It's, oh, it's a big bathroom. I like this a lot. This is really nice. That's awesome. Nice mirror too. This is the room. And it's very cool. But now we are here in the park for a little while and this is going to be a mixture of a hotel stay, park day and a little bit of Project Ocean update. So come join me today. So it seems they have already started digging quite deep for this new flat which is going in. This is very exciting. Hopefully it's going to be Nemesis themed. Uh, it's believed to be a flat like Ripsaw but we'll have to see. They have also branded it with the Phalanx kind of logo. It is all boarded up. There's lots of Phalanx logos. So it's not really a major update, but it's just that they have started now construction on Project Ocean. My ass is <laughs> there are two of them now. There's one. He goes through so quick. Slivers through there. <laughs> but we're going through the gardens now to get to Forbidden Valley. And it's a bit of a trek. But we've never done the gardens, so I'm very, very excited to see it all. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, I don't want to go I'll go. 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 I'll go.
had a great ride on Nemesis. It was really good. And there was definitely less of a rattle. I don't know if it's true the fact that one of them, one of the trains rattles more than the other. I don't know how true that is. But we had a really good ride on it, and it didn't really rattle either. And we got both three. Pretty good ride. It's my favourite, the Curse of Autumn Manor. We're doing this one next. If you ever get to walk around the whole of the Curse Queue, make sure you read all the tombstones and all the little signs. It's very interesting, as well as kind of gives you the backstory and help form what this ride's about. And definitely make sure you watch that pre-show as well. Please, may I go to the party? Please, I don't know if anyone's seen, but these are new in the car shop, the new door knockers. They're £45. So they're finally open and we're going on Congo River Rapids. Okay, we had a good ride there on Congo River Rapids. We had a good ride on it and I think we're heading to Wicker Man, but it's closed, but we're going to head to it now anyway. Okay, so it's actually a walk on as you can see just here, which is absolutely insane. Just think, we literally queued almost four hours for this, starting at eight, finishing at half ten on opening, and now it's a walk on, it's insane. So, because it's a walk on, we've literally gone on secured row one. So, get a front row ride on it today. Look, they're literally back to get empty. Nemesis? Fast. Good. Okay, round two for the curse, all the manner. Flipping, 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 flipping. Flipping. Emily Orton. Time to do some riding exeter now, the smile and oblivion. So, don't know what's happening here, but apparently a flat is going to be coming near oblivion, a permanent flat. So we'll have to see, is it what update, but nothing's currently going on at the moment. Oblivion is first. There's so many ducklings. Duck. Oh, there's so many ducklings. The little group over there, and then there's a little baby group here. Ducks. I think you can tell what the sign is. I have ducks in my house. <laughs> Glad to hear it. <laughs> oh, look at the little babies. Oh, yeah. Final ride of the day is going to be Wicker Man. My favourite, cannot wait.
went on the Wicker Man, my favourite. It's brilliant and nothing can top it. Maybe apart from me in my opinion on the park. And I made an impulsive decision like Keris did and bought the Wicker Man brand new coats with annual pass discount. It was £72. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye guys. I forgot to mention it, but I also had a very good day.